Now this is the Canon AF10 and I got this for one particular reason. It's a Canon 26mm lens. Now this is an f6 lens so you need good lights. It's a 35mm camera. It's an autofocus camera. I was going to take that sticker off but anyway it seems to be part of the design bizarrely. This fits right in with my collection of 35mm autofocus compact cameras. Focus wise it has a 3 point active autofocus. The viewfinder large bright and it has you can just about see there an autofocus frame so you can see where the focus will land. If we open it up by pulling that lever there you can see the bay. Nice and simple and again nice and clean. I notice a lot of these compact cameras are in decent condition on the inside. People seem to look after them well or we'll just not use them that much. Now this was an auto loading and also advancing DX coded 35mm film. There's some samples at the end of this video and you'll probably notice that there's a problem in here that I need to look at. On the top there's a small LCD with a frame counter and mode options. It has an integral flash with three modes including red eye reduction which I'll show you in a moment. It also has a self timer mode. Looking towards the bottom it has a tripod socket which is very handy. And it's powered by two double A's. Now I've replaced those. I've cleaned this up, believe it or not. And I've took it out and had a play. Now the first thing I noticed, I turn it on and see what happens. See the flash there? And sure enough it takes the picture with the flash. That's about how long it takes to be ready with the flash. Of course the wind on itself is pretty immediate. Now what you probably notice here at the back there's a viewing window so you can check up on the film that you've got in there. There's an indicator to let you know if your flash is ready. Typically there's a hand strap and other than that it's a simple little camera. Now how did it work out in the end? Well I threw a couple of cheap rolls in which actually turned out probably didn't actually match up with the DX on this camera at all as it was a 200 speed and this camera if I'm right in saying was good for 100 and 400 only which it added automatically. The dimensions in inches 4.3 by 2.5 by 1.5 or 109 by 64.3 by 37.2 mil. Take a look at the shots and you'll see a problem that occurred in shooting.